Imagine spending day after day climbing hundreds of feet into the canopy of some of the world's largest eastern hemlock trees, many of which are found in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This pretty much sums up the work of Will Blozan, an arborist and biologist who, along with his Suga Search partners and the National Park Service, has documented many of the largest hemlock trees in the world. Which is why, on a rainy day in March, a group of us followed him into a far valley of the Greenbrier area of the park to see the tree he's named the Leviathan which, by the way, is also the name of a legendary sea monster. The tree we're going to is currently the second largest hemlock ever documented, and that's based on volume, not diameter, not height, the amount of wood in the tree. So what I do is I climb to the tops of the trees and I measure down the trunk the increments all the way from top to bottom and generate we have a formula to calculate volumes of each section, add it together, and have got the volume of the tree. This tree has got 1,583 cubic feet of wood in it, which is a lot of wood. Will's work isn't just about measuring trees, though. It's about trying to save them. The Smokies hemlocks are under attack from an insect called the hemlock woolly adelgid, which looks like white fuzz on the tree's branches. But Will's survey work has helped the Park Service target its efforts to save old-growth hemlocks, like the Leviathan.